what's up guys, Benny here and welcome to the best assault rifle loadout in Call of Duty Black Ops 6. I've gone through and used every single assault rifle and found the best class setup for them so you don't have to. We're also going to be ranking them from worst to best to see exactly what the best weapons in the entire game are so you can have the best possible experience. And if you are new around here, please take a second and hit that subscribe button as we hop into our first loadout of the day, the XM4. Now for me, this is the fourth best assault rifle in Black Ops 6. It's incredibly versatile and easy to use and a weapon I'd really recommend any skill level of player to use. Now, the build that I've gone for, I've got the Kepler Microflex, which is a beautiful optic, the long barrel, which is gonna give increase that damage range, the extended mag one, which gives, gives you 45 rounds of a clip. I've then got the CQB grip, which gives you dive to fire speed, slide to fire speed and sprint to fire, because for me, the XM4 is the hybrid between a, a holding AR and being very aggressive. This is what you want to be pushing objectives with and getting on the point and getting those close range kills, but also locking down and controlling lanes. And this class setup allows you to do that, especially with the balanced stock for that increased strafing movement speed and movement speed increase. It is a very good assault rifle to get up in your opponent's faces. And like, if we go into the firing range and have a look at it, you can see takes down opponents very quickly, but also is very mobile. It's almost SMG-like, and it doesn't surprise me that a lot of pro players were running 4XM4s in objective modes because it gave them the most versatility in the game. But for me, it goes in at number four in the assault rifle list. But next up, we've got the next assault rifle you unlock in the game, the AK-74. No idea why they didn't just call it the AK-47, but for me, you have to use gunfighter on this. The amount of recoil on this weapon is really difficult to control. I've got the Kepler Microflex. I then don't use the suppressor, I use the compensator so I get more recoil control. We've then got the Gain Twist Barrel for that increased bullet velocity so you've got more of a chance of like having hit scan. Um, the vertical foregrip to take down that horizontal recoil. Fast mag because reload switches on this is pretty quick the fast mag. You don't need all 40 rounds because it does have a slower fire rate compared to the XM4. 652 rounds per minute. We've got the Commando Grip which for me on a lot of assault rifles in this game is the best grip in the game because it gives you ADS and sprint to fire speed so you can move around, and not get caught out off sprint, which is very important. I've then got the combat stock for that flinch resistance because like I said, this, this gun kicks. It is really, really hard to use. Uh, and then recoil springs just for even more recoil control. This makes it usable. It's a hard hitting assault rifle, but like, I don't have complete trust in it. It's it's still very good. I think the assault rifles in Black Ops are really well balanced and you're gonna be able to do well with this, but I wouldn't necessarily recommend using it. But we're gonna move on to our next assault rifle, which is the Ames 85. This is once again, a very easy to use assault rifle. It's got a high fire rate of 833 rounds per minute, even faster than the XM4. It just doesn't hit as hard for me, which is just kind of why they're quite close. This, the XM4 is in fourth, this is in fifth for me. Um, and I like to run eight attachments on the Ames just so it gets the best overall feel. But like I said, high fire rate, you go through your mags quickly, got a lot in the clip, but you can, you can take down opponents pretty easily using this. But the build you want is the Kepler Microflex, the Compensator, the Reinforced Barrel, the Vertical Foregrip, the Extender Mag, Commando Grip, Balanced Stock, and then Rapid Fire. That Rapid Fire is what gives you a really fast time to kill with the aims. Like, it's a lot of fun to use. There are a few assault rifles throughout this video where I prefer using eight attachments, and there are some that I prefer using five. I'll make sure to let you know what those are exactly. Also, if you're looking for a brand new laptop to play Black Ops Six on, I cannot recommend enough the Omen Transcend 14 with an Intel Core Ultra 9 processor in it. It is an absolute beast of a gaming machine. It's got this beautiful 120 hertz OLED display, which makes Black Ops 6 look stunning, by the way. Also, because I take this thing everywhere I go, it's super lightweight and durable, which is really important. It's got a 4070, so you're gonna get tons of frames, so you're gonna get the best performance possible whilst playing Black Ops 6. There is a link down in the description below. Go check it out, let me know what you think, and enjoy Black Ops 6. So our next best assault rifle in sixth place is the GPR-91. Now, I actually really like the iron sights on this, but it's just got a little bit too much recoil and is just that a little bit too inconsistent for it to be higher up in this video. But 
honestly, the GPR, really nice assault rifle. You can run rapid fire on it, so you get that fast time to kill because the iron sights are really clean. You then want the balance stock for that increased movement speeds, the extender mag, the vertical foregrip for the recoil control, and then that suppressor so you stay off radar. Like I said, it's not the best assault rifle compared to some of the others in this video, but that's the best build. And like, it's got great mobility, clean iron sight, hard hitting with 29 damage for a headshot, 23 to the body. So yeah, very reliable assault rifle, but it goes in at number six. Next, we've got the second place AR in Black Ops 6. It is, of course, the Model L. I love this assault rifle. And when we go into the firing range with it, you can see it's got super clean iron sight. It doesn't move. Like, it is one of the easiest guns to use in quite possibly Call of Duty history. And the second I used this on the first day of the game, I was like, this is the best gun in the game. It's the best gun in the game. You can't not use it. And to be honest, it probably is the best in the assault rifle category. Uh, but I do have one that I have to show you later on in the video that is just so much better. But the build that I use is the Volskiv Reflex, the Suppressor, the Extender Mag, Commando Grip, and then the Combat Stock. Like I said, a five attachment build, which is something you want because then you can go with whichever wild card you want. You can go Danger Close, you can go Perk Greed, which is my personal recommendation, or Tactical Expert if you're trying to rank up as fast as possible. But yeah, Model L, go ahead, use it. You will not be disappointed in that class setup. The gun you will be disappointed in, in eighth place, and I hate it unless you're playing hardcore, it's the Goblin MK2. Ugly by name, ugly by nature. It is honestly just, I hate it. I, for core game modes, it is terrible unless you've got a super quick trigger finger. But the build that I work, reuse, I've got the Merlin Reflex on there. I've got the Suppressor, the Extender Mag 1, the Commando Grip, and then that Balance Stock. And like, if I go into the firing range, you'll see what I mean. Like, like, look at this. Like, you're having to deal with people sliding around like crazy. Like, I can't even hit my targets like this. And it takes like three headshots to take your opponent down. Who has time for that? And like, you, you, you'll be able to see. Like, it's it's just not the weapon I'd recommend using in this game. Um, but you got to do it for the camo challenges. Go ahead. Though, it is pretty good in hardcore uh, for popping those headshots. A bit like the DM-10. Um, but yeah, not 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 for me. In third place, we've got the AS Val. This is the last weapon you unlock in progression. A lot of you won't have used it yet because you only have it at level 55. And if you prestige and don't use your permanent unlock token, you're unlikely going to have used the AS Val much. But very, very good all-round assault rifle. High fire rate. One of the fastest TTKs in the game. And if you played a lot of Warzone, you'll recognize this. It is very popular back in the day. And it probably is better in Black Ops 6. I'm excited to use it in Area 99. But vertical foregrip, extended mag 2, assault grip, balance stock, and then recoil springs to make it as laser, as much of a laser beam as possible. And yeah, you will not be disappointed with this. It's a lot of fun to use. Now it is time for our first place weapon. And it is not in the assault rifle category, but enough people have not been using it. And it is the AEK973. And you're probably like, wait, what, what, really? This is the best. It is honestly broken. Like you will see this, look at the fire rate of this. It is a one burst kill. So you only need to hit opponent once with one of these bursts, all three bullets from the burst, and they're dead. Like a little bit further range, you might have to fire twice. Burst weapon, I've not seen a weapon this dominant since the M16 in COD 4. The build that you want for it, Kepler Microflex, Suppressor, Vertical Foregrip, the Ergonomic Grip, uh, which you can actually switch to the Commando Grip for even better ADS and Sprint to Fire Speed, and then Rapid Fire. Genuinely, give this a go. 44 damage for a headshot, 40 to the body, and it drops down to um, 32 at range, but you're gonna hit all those bullets. You're gonna be destroying people all day, every day. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. I hope you found this helpful, and I will see you tomorrow for more Call of Duty Black Ops 6.